Loss-making oil rig builder Semcorp Marine has sunk further into the red with a net loss of $192 million for the first half of this year. That's compared to $7 million for the same period last year. CEO Wang Weng Sun has volunteered to take a 50% pay cut, while senior and middle managers will take between 10 and 15%. The firm says production had been stopped and projects delayed because manpower was cut during the circuit breaker. Only its repairs and upgrades arm saw a profit on the back of higher margin projects in the first quarter of the year. But all other segments posted losses, dragging total revenue down 41% in the first half of this year to $906 million. And the firm also hasn't secured new orders because volatile oil prices have forced some producers to defer spending. Semcorp Marine says existing projects will continue even as it diversifies into clean energy and improves its yard capabilities. For now, it's getting liquidity through a $2.1 billion rights issuance and a demerger from Semcorp Industries. And for a closer look, we're joined by Nirgunan Tirushalvam, head of consumers' equity research, Telema Research. Nirgunan, thanks for joining us this evening. Were you surprised that Semcorp Marine suffered a net loss of $192 million, you know, considering they lost $7 million in the same period last year? The losses are not surprising, given that the company was effectively non-operational for much of that period. The circuit breaker meant that revenues have fallen 41%, and the situation is one where the management seems to be intent on two things. Number one, they want to reduce leverage. And number two, they want to cut costs. If they achieve these two objectives to any degree of a certainty, it is likely that a lot of the problems could be addressed. Well, aside from the production stand down, what were the other factors uh, that played a role in Semcorp Marine's losses? Did volatility in oil prices also uh, play, were they also a factor in this? Absolutely. The degree of volatility in the oil price that we saw in the first half of the year has not been seen since the 2008 crisis. In fact, even in the 2008 commodity collapse, we didn't see oil prices go into negative territory. So uh, the company uh, staying away from getting new orders is not entirely surprising. Nirvidan, with the easing of COVID-19 measures in Singapore, how do you see Semcorp Marine's recovery ahead? They need to focus on improving the balance sheet situation before talking about the operational side of the business. It is clear that they have announced a $2.1 billion rights issue. If this rights issue is successful, it is likely that a lot of the leverage issues would reduce. They have about $4 billion of debt. The rights issue could effectively cut the gearing levels by about 40%, which is an encouraging move by the management. Well, the firm also suffered a 41% revenue drop, uh, but do you think this was actually better than expected, perhaps? The revenue drop, yes, is within the realms of uh, improvement in the sense that you would have felt given the severity of the lockdown, given the stringent measures taken by governments along, all over the world, that the drop in revenue would be possibly more than 41%. But one needs to just focus on the balance sheet issues as opposed to the operational issues as we look at this stock. Uh, this is an opportunity for the management and the investors to address some of the fundamental problems with this industry and the company at a time of great strife in the industry. All right, saying that, you also mentioned about this rights issue. So what are your thoughts on Semcorp Marine's uh, plan to raise this rights issue? How should they utilize the funds? They should use the money to pay down debt. They have about $4 billion of net debt. That is uh, excessive given the operational situation. It's an encouraging move by the management. Thank you so much for speaking to us and sharing with us your thoughts. We've been speaking with Nirgunan Tirushelvam, Head of Consumers' Equity Research at Telema Research.